Good morning, world. Is it really Monday? Wow. Where did the weekend go? I swear. I swear. I woke up today and I was like, it's Sunday. I could sleep in. It's Monday. I got work. I got to go to school. Oh my God. Where did the weekend go? Well, the day has finally come. Tomorrow, we are starting that elimination diet. Look at that cabinet. It's almost empty. We, what we did was we packed up pretty much everything that's gonna go bad during the time that we are doing the elimination part. Like, no foods pretty much except for rice. So, <laughs> we have two bags of food there. We're giving that to our niece, Mia, who's gonna take that stuff home because she lives in an apartment by herself where, while she's going to college. So she can use the food. She can enjoy those Halloween Oreos. We cannot. I wonder if any of you have done the elimination diet or have discovered, you know, how you've discovered what foods you're, you know, found that you are allergic to or have caused you dif discomfort. Comment below. Follow us as we're going through this whole thing. Let us know what how you found out what foods irritate you. Mia officially does not have to go grocery shopping for a while. She is walking out with the groceries from our fridge. Set to go, guys. <laughs> she has more grocery bags full of food. And then this is, I decided to try these Desani sparklers, sparkling waters. They were on sale everywhere when they first came out. They were gross. I was kind of excited. I was like, maybe they're like Perrier and I can just drink them instead of just plain water. They were really gross. I also tried these breakfast shakes. Didn't like them. So those are going to like work in the, in the room and anybody who wants them can have them. If you're going to eat, you're like your last lunch before you're going on an elimination diet, what do you choose? I drove up and down a little bit and then I decided Jimmy John's. It has bread, which I'm not going to be eating for a while. It has meats that I'm not going to be eating for a while because I'm going to get like a Vito, which has like salami, which I love, and cheese, which I love. So it's Jimmy John's. That's what I chose as my last lunch before the elimination diet. It's helpful when you order if you don't forget your wallet in the car. So on Mondays, I have a one hour class. It's not even like for credit. It's just for people pursuing PhDs in criminal justice, kind of like, here's what to expect. Here are the professors and what their interests are. I take my class in this building. It's Baker Hall, mostly social work and criminal justice books on in here. It's not a young building. It's quite an old building. It has not been renovated recently. Oh, come on in. <laughs> I'm just talking to a camera. <laughs> For some reason, it's not closing. Oh. This is one of my classmates. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not closing? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. We're moving elevators. <laughs> Problem with old buildings means broken elevators. may get up to our class. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Graduate school has lots of seminars and the rooms look kind of like this. So they're not very big and the rooms are really small. You'll recognize this guy. Hi Michael. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> I'm showing what a graduate student seminar might look like. Okay. It's kind of small. <laughs> so that's that. I am out of class and now I need to head to work. Mondays are really important days of work for me. I'm vlogging, so don't mind me, Melissa. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, I'm standing next to somebody I know. This is going to sound really weird. <laughs> So anyway, after I leave my class on Mondays, I head to Upward Bound, and when I'm at my job at Upward Bound, Mondays is when the kids are here. So I'm gonna be like running rampant, trying to make sure we have iPods for all the kids, laptops for all the kids, and making sure we have everything ready to go before the kids show up from their high schools. It's gonna be exciting. 
So that was actually really cool because I got to talk to Melissa and I was like, yeah, so, you know, we family vlog and stuff like that. And she's like, I've actually vlogged. I actually did a couple and stuff. So that actually turned into a really cool conversation with a colleague. So I said, okay, Melissa, your face is going on our vlog then. And now I really do have to get over to my job. But I got to say, there's somebody driving a pink scooter. <laughs> And she's laughing at me, but she doesn't know why. My pink scooter was stolen. Oh my God. And it's not the same scooter, but it makes me so I'm sad. So sorry. I would just die. You all don't know this, but my pink scooter got stolen. And enjoy your scooter. Thank you. Have a good ride. I'm going to get a new scooter. And before we started vlogging, oh, you probably saw it in Jessica's vlog that my scooter got stolen. Its name was Hope. And I just saw a scooter drive off, and it made me sad. So I just learned a lot, another movie insider. They're going to use Beaumont Tower also. So part of the circle drive is going to be closed this week. They're like practically closing down half of campus, like all of our roads, so they can film this movie. And we're supposed to be just like, oh, okay, we'll just go around business as usual as you film this huge epic on our campus. And sure, close down all our roads. We'll figure out how to get around. So I came in and my boss was trying to load for me. These are like six laptops and a cart full of iPads. And I am going to be responsible for somehow getting that into my car and over to the site. But I have about a half hour to get some other stuff done, which I'm going to do. Um, and then I'm going to load it. Oh, yeah. it's, it's fun. My job is actually data and research. But because we're a little understaffed right now and everything like that, I just do whatever I'm needed, wherever I'm needed. And so that's what I do. Remember that like cold 32 degree weather we had earlier this week? It is 70 degrees outside right now. I'm in a sweater. I have the computer set up and now I'm needed downstairs to help other people. I didn't know I became the technology person, but I guess I am. I'm like sweating, my sweater is off. It's hard to do all this stuff. <sighs> stairs, I can do the stairs. I'm in the basement of Hubbard Hall. Our kids are in different classrooms down here. They take afternoon classes, kind of. So here's the issue. MSU has the greatest like technology in the classrooms, but they're all set up so you can connect to the projector um, with a PC, but you have to have like that special connector dingle dongle. I don't even know how to say it right. If you happen to have a Mac, I happen to own one. So I'm going to go get mine out of my car, but there's two instructors that don't have one. So I have to bring the other one down a PC, which means our sophomores are going to be one laptop short, which I think is okay to, for today. And that's just the way it goes. Our softwares will be one less laptop, and the other will use my dongle dingle dongle, because I can't say it right. And we'll have it all figured out for today. Never so easy to just grab a laptop. I happen to have that laptop. Now I have to get to my car. I'm gonna get my 10,000 steps in <laughs> really quick. Um, hello. Hey, can you open the um, It's that one down there. I'll open it down there. Let's go down there. Take two, as I had to go walk her to the classroom. Okay, so as I was saying, the 10,000 steps are not gonna be an issue today. I'm probably halfway there just by the running around I've been doing in the last 10 minutes. Okay, off to my car. So this little gadget is the little device that one needs if they have a Mac and they wanna connect to a projector. I'm not sure that after an hour of work I should look like that I just ran a marathon. So while everybody else is calm, cool, and collected, like Josie sitting here, I look like I ran a marathon. I did, drink, I did drink a little water. There's a class going on behind me, and their kids are doing their homework and getting the help they need. They're learning the Pomodoro um, technique, which is work really intense for a period of time, then take a break and reward yourself, then work intense again for a period of time. It's a really good technique. Look it up, Pomodoro. So, how's it going, Josie? Oh, just highlighting who's absent. Josie's a hard worker. Every Monday's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I finally relaxed, but I noticed my cheeks are still quite red. I don't like that. 
Anyway, it's been another hour. The kids are doing homework and stuff with their tutors. I'm just gonna go check on them. I'm now not just data and IT, but I just became the expert in figuring out how to work the overhead fans. So, you know, if my PhD in criminal justice doesn't work out, I can be a used car salesman, according to that used car salesman the other day, or I have all these other careers to fall back on. It's good to know. I'm in front of Jess's uh, hall. I got saved, end of the day. Jesse needs a ride to the house, so I said, yay, you can help me carry all this stuff back to my hall, and I got saved. Thanks, Jess. Course. So she like loaded everything back into the car and then we're gonna load it all back at the office and I don't have to figure out how to carry it all back. And I'm so grateful. But once again, I look like I ran another marathon. So today's been a two marathon day. Pretty good, pretty good for the day before I start the elimination diet. I'm looking forward to finally getting home and having like a really good dinner. I wonder what our final dinner will be before we start this elimination diet. I know you all have been wondering, what's that dinner going to be? Well, it started with good rolls. We're at Texas Roadhouse, and I think I'm going to have a steak. Alice is still looking over her menu. She finally makes an appearance in this vlog. Hi. Waiting for a steak. And the, this bread is really good. They have cinnamon butter. It's really good. Like, it's a ribeye night, and we're actually sharing it. Yes, we could have gotten our own ribeyes, but nope, we're sharing it because we wanted a big ribeye, and that'll be plenty of food. Alice has promised to vlog more during the diet, so she said it's going to be like an every other day thing. Every other day she'll do it, and every other day I'll do it, so there will be more vlogs, and there will be more Alice. This was a promise, right? You know what? Yeah, you know what my one, my staff person, Denise, asked me today? She said, are you going to be cranky? <laughs> are you going to be crappy during this elimination? And I said, probably. As we all know, Alice loves food. So somehow we got to make millet taste great. Well, this is my half of the steak. Alice's. Loaded mashed potatoes some corn and of course we got the A1. Can't have steak without A1. How you how you doing there? It's very good. It is very good. I don't know much about cuts of steak, but a, a good ribeye is the best cut of steak.